Hello and welcome to Carolina State Parks Oregon of Sunfish. In this video, you will learn how to secure the drain plugs, attach the rudder, attach and hoist the main sail, rig the main sheet, and rig the dagger board. Four things you'll need to grab is a mast, your sail bundle, your rudder, and your dagger board. Place the sail mast bundle on the deck with the spars and sails on the port side of the mast. This will help you when inserting the mass. You want to uncoil your main sheet, untie the halyard which should be wrapped around your sail mass bundle, feed your halyard through the top of your mass. And then bring your mass up and make sure you insert it through the gooseneck into the deck. You'll get a little water. The boats have been sitting out. Next you'll want to do is run your halyard through your fair lead, around your deck cleat, tie it off so you don't lose it during the rest of the preparation of the sail. Next you're going to do is take your main sheet, run it through the ratchet block, making sure you're going around the correct direction. This one is a free block, so the direction doesn't matter. Next you'll want to do is tie a stopper knot. This will make sure the main sheet doesn't pull through when you're sailing. Next you'll take your dagger board, put it through, make sure it's going the right direction, attach the bungee around the mass, and then tie it back on itself to create some tension. Attach the aft end of the main sheet to the traveler using a bowline knot or the snap shackle. In this case we have a snap shackle. Grab the rudder, attach the rudder by sliding the grooves into the rudder hinge and place into the gudgeons on the aft of the boat. Very important, be sure to slide the tiller under the traveler. Give it a good pull and make sure it's secure. Here we're a little way from the dock, so during the transportation to the dock, I'm going to slightly elevate the boat and make sure I drain any water that might be sitting in there. Now that we're on the dock, I'm going to push the sailboat parallel to the water and continue the rest of the rigging. I'm going to look at the sails, make sure everything's secure. I'm going to secure the transom drain plug. Then I'm going to go to the cockpit. Also, any storage items that I brought on, I'm going to store into the back of the boat so that if I do capsize, they don't come out. I'm going to then take this opportunity to close up the cockpit drain plug as well and then next I'll move to the deck plug make sure that's secure now I'm going to continue with the rigging of the boat I'm going to take the dagger board cord off look make sure I have everything correct and all the lines are going the right way now I'm going to hoist the sail by pulling down in the halyard making sure the boat is facing into the wind continue give the gooseneck a little help pull the halyard down tight Make sure there's no one around that could get uh, hurt by the swinging of the boom. Take the halyard, pull it tight, wrap it around the cleat, tie a cleat knot, and secure that. Next I'll do is I'll take the halyard, I'm going to wrap it around on top of the gooseneck. This is so if we were to capsize or turtle, this would keep the mast and the sail attached to the boat. Run that through the fair lead from stern to bow. And then I'm going to tie that and secure it to the deck cleat as well. Now something optional you can do here is tie the end of the halyard around the sail here. Tie into a bowline knot. And then when you're going into the down the wind, you can then pull on this and give you a little extra leverage to pull out the sails. Bring that towards the cockpit. Now I'm going to take the dagger board bungee, wrap it around the mast, make sure I'm clear, clear of all the lines, tie it onto itself to create the tension. Okay, now I'm going to untie the boat, get ready to launch. I'm going to wrap it around once here just so I don't lose it during transportation. I'm going to move it and back up the wheels to the edge of the water here. And then I'm really just going to drop the boat straight into the water. OK, 
Okay, once in the water, I'll grab the line, make sure it doesn't get away from me, and then tie it off and get ready to get on and board the boat. Once on the boat, I'll make sure I drop the rudder into the water and we're off sailing. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. If you have any comments, please leave them below.